Hi guys, we're going to do a, a little painting demonstration today on painting furniture. And what we're going through eventually through the whole video is four steps of getting your kitchen cabinets or a table or a coffee table or a dining room table from prepared, primed, painted with a second coat and then finished up with a smooth finish. So what we're doing right here right now, I'm getting this prepared. And as it turns out, I normally use the scuff sander. I'll show that in just a few seconds. But there's a spot over here that's really rough, and you just have to sand it down. This is 150 grit sandpaper, and you just have to give it a little bit of love like that, and now it's really smooth. So now the whole thing is smooth, and there's only one thing left to do with the heavy sandpaper. I don't know if you can see in here, Sarah. There's a really brush mark left, a really ugly brush mark from when this was painted before. And about the only way to get those out is just with a little sandpaper. Otherwise, if you don't get those out, when you paint, that's going to transfer through and you're still going to see that brush mark. So now that we've got it roughed up and ready to go, now we want to get it smooth. And what we're getting it smooth with is this 800 grit pad. It's different than sanding because you're not trying to improve or just get rid of something. You're just trying to get it smooth. And you can use this same pad many, many times. This product been used 20 times. And all I'm going to do with no elbow grease is just give it a nice little rub like that. And that's just as smooth as it can be. And so for all of the sanding, the last step, I got a little bit in this cup. I've got a little bit of TSP, about a tablespoon, and about a, a cup of water mixed together. The TSP is a degreaser. So these tables have been had pledge on them and wax, and the varnish has grease in it. So what this does, once you're done sanding, this will, you think you've cleaned it as good as you can, that gets all the rest of that off of there. And so you give it another shot. And now, if you don't get this off, even though it's fine little particles of sand, it will clump up in the brush and you'll end up with lumps on your project. So the most important part is to get it really clean. And after every step, we're gonna do this again. So what we did for now, we got it prepped up, all the rough edges out with our sandpaper. We got the rough brush marks out with the sandpaper. And then we smooth down. And that smoothness will transfer layer after layer. You won't get any brush marks. Okay, we're ready to go to the next step. We've got it prepped. We've got it sanded real smooth. We're ready to put the paint on. The first thing you want to do, the paint is $23.95 a jar. It's a pint. This pint of paint will cover about one dresser with two coats. Fusion paint goes a long, long way. And so with that, we, I've already pre-opened this one. The easiest way I've found to open it is put a screwdriver between the cap and the jar. Twist it one time, it'll pop and it comes right off very easily. So I got this open, I'm ready to paint. And the fusion paint, goes a long way. I can hardly say it enough times. We're gonna start with this and you'll see how far it goes. And I'd rather do it this way than get too much. Then you start getting the brush strokes. We'll add just a little bit more. And you should be able to paint this piece in about a minute. Um, I'm almost done here. We'll get, and I just want to show you once we're done with this. This is going to be our first coat, which is the primer. So don't worry if it doesn't cover. Fusion takes two coats, but the first coat is the primer to be sure that it bonds with the wood. So now we got this all done. We're going to do the most important part here. We're going to get this edge. We're going to get this edge. Get this edge done. One last quick one here. And then what I want to show you, when you do this edge, 
and you start coming across here. I don't know if you can pick that up, Sarah. There's all kinds of blobs along the edge and this simulates a kitchen table. You don't want that. And I got a little brush stroke here. So what I'm gonna do is clean this off the edge like that. Clean it off the edge like this. You see that extra paint there? Then in order to get rid of it, I'm laying this brush on my hand with barely touching with my thumb, coming across and lifting up when I get to the edge. Coming across, lifting up, coming across, lifting up, and then I come back the other way. And I don't know if it shows up in the, it, it, there's appearance of some brush marks, but really that's just the first coat didn't completely cover. When we see this dry, there'll be no brush marks. We've got a little spot right there and we're all done. So that's how easy it is to paint the first coat. We're gonna let this dry and we're gonna sand this again and we're gonna go to the next coat. Hello again, we're gonna start on our second coat of this little display riser, dining room table simulator. Uh, what I failed to show you the last time is how to clean this brush. If you recall, it had quite a bit of green burgundy, the Bayberry paint on it. And this is, I'll show you on the next coat how to get it this clean. So what we're gonna do, before we start painting, we got our first coat dry, we're gonna scuff sand it again. I feel a little bump there, I feel a couple here. This feels kind of like chalk paint feels. And I'm just gonna take it down. Just a little bit, the edges, and check that perfect. And in order to make sure I get all that dust up, because I can't really see it on my hand, but you'll be able to see it here. We want to get this all this dust up again, just like we did last time. As soon as we get that up, we're ready for the second coat. Give it a quick dry here, but it's ready even so it's barely damp to take back to paint. And what we're going to do is the same thing we did before. Fusion goes a long way. We're going to use a little bit of paint. We just brush that on. And this time it's going really smooth. You got the primer on there. You got it sanded down. It's going on so smooth. Take a little bit more. Another thing I didn't show you in the last section. So right in here, if you get too much paint, rather than try to work it out and make more brush strokes, just get rid of it and put it somewhere there's no paint. Let's take it up, bring it over here where there's no paint, take it up again, and when you're done, you'll see how smooth. Fusion is self-leveling, so if you don't get it very thick on here, it's going to level itself out and you'll never see those brush strokes. So we're back one last time here. Let me just get a touch. This piece, this corner here. I got that one, I got that one. We're all done. So we're just going to clean it up. And again, like I did last time, when you come across these ends, you end up with these little bubbles. So we take it off the bottom first and then come back just almost touching the edge but not quite lifting at the other edge and you're going to get rid of those bubbles and then we're just going to come back and do the same thing just missing the other the edge on the down there and back and we are done okay we're back and while we were away, I took the uh, opportunity to paint the bottom. I used all the same techniques, the same sanding and so forth. Just wanted to get that out of the way. The top is all done with the second coat. The second coat has that built-in top coat on it. And just a little bit of scrubbing across. Very likely gets that smoothest glass. We're gonna come back with our TSP wiped off the powder you can see there and then we dry it and we're done so this project is finished and just to go over um, what we've accomplished we started out with actually it was a pre-painted piece of wood but it could be like this cabinet 
scuffed it down with the, the sandpaper, this uh, scuffing pad, the 800 grit, get it nice and smooth, cleaned it with TSP, put on the primer coat, the first coat. I let that dry about 25 minutes, came back with the sandpaper again, did the same thing, no elbow grease, just get it smooth, TSP, wipe it off. The last thing was the top coat, the second coat. And the second coat has a, will have a built-in top coat in it. So unlike chalk paint, you don't need to add anything else unless you choose to. What I like to do with the second coat is come back with this last one more time, nice and soft, and you get that really smooth finish, just like this one here. So what we'll do is we'll be doing more of these. We're gonna come back later with another video. We're gonna talk about these table legs how to do uh, distressing, antiquing of the legs and things like that, waxing. So we look forward to seeing you again. And in the meantime, right here at Slater House, you can get fusion mineral paint. There's 87 different colors, so come on in. Okay, just real quick, we're all done with two coats of paint on that little table riser. We're gonna clean this brush. And the way to clean it is just the way you clean it. Just clean and clean and clean. Sometimes you can rub it around in your hands up in it. It just takes about 30 seconds. Keep going and going and going. And what we're trying to do is get as much of this paint out of here as we can. And if you'll notice, the sink's pretty clean. And most people would call that done. So what we're gonna do is take a little dab of Fusion brush cleaner put that in our hand, work it around like an old-fashioned shaving mug, and you'll start here in a minute to see it. Um, it's really starting to foam up. And the more you go, the more foam it gets. It's hard to see in the light, but I'm seeing a little bit of that green left on my hand. And once you get that going good, we're gonna rinse this soap out, and you won't believe it. This looks just like the brand new brush looked when we started. And it's all about this brush cleaner. Um, this is a 295 little sample jar, and we have tubes off as well. But you can see, when we thought our brush was clean, now we know it's clean. Okay, on to the next process. <laughs>